I use a cording foot for the entire project except for the zipper portion of my slipcover. Your pin lines that you've created by pinning your slipcover are actually your stitch lines. So you'll be taking the pins out as you go and just following where your pins were when you pin fit the slipcover. The order in which I sew the slipcover together are starting with my inside arm to my inside back. That's a more difficult seam where we made all the clips going around the curve on the top of the arm, so we get that out of the way first. Then I would sew my, out, my inside arm, excuse me, to my outside arm. That's that straight seam underneath the arm. The next seam that I would do is I would sew the inside back where it comes down and meets the deck on the sofa. And that's just a nice long seam, gets it sewn together and everything feels a little bit more structured and sturdy to you while you're sewing the rest of your seams. Then I'm gonna sew my inside arm. So where the inside arm comes down and it meets the deck, I would sew that seam. And then once those seams are sewn, you can sew your arm fronts to your inside arm and outside arm. So now you see where you've got three seams that have intersected that one piece that needed to be stitched together. And you can't sew that until those other seams are done. The final seam is your outside back, and that intersects a lot of other seams around the body of the sofa. And then once we've done that, you're ready to sew your zipper.